welcome to another episode of Neotropical Birding Fields. I'm Julio Delgado, the Piculet Birder. This time, we're going to talk about the king of the high Andean sky. For indigenous people in Colombia, the Andean condor, Vulture Griffiths, represents the warrior spirit of the ancestors, the guardian of the air, the mountains, and the snow peaks. The Andean condor, Vulture Griffiths, is a large bird, being among the largest flight birds of our day. It reaches 4 feet length, 10 feet wingspan, and 11 to 15 kilograms weight. The male is distinguished from the female by having a large crest on the head, which descends on both sides of the bill. Both sexes have a white feather necklace at the base of the neck, black colored body, and wing coverts with a white band. The condor lacks larynx, and therefore, does not make sounds or songs like other bird species do. The communal roosting places, called condoreras, are located in rocky places with cliffs that offer shelves for perching, and for diurnal and overnight rest. In the condoreras a large number of individuals can gather, in them the condors interact, displaying hierarchical behaviors. Nests, on the other hand, are located in caves or ledges on cliffs, different than those used for communal roosts. At the time of reproduction, the couple temporarily separates from the rest of the group and proceed to the choice of the nest, courtship displays and copulations. The nests are generally located in caves or shelves, protected by vertical walls, in many cases inaccessible by land for predators. Lighting birds, like condors, benefit from the Andes topography that creates conditions for the formation of thermals in the air. Due to its weight, the Andean condor would have trouble taking off in flat areas. In other words, condors would be more likely to be predated by other animals or hunted by humans. Temperature is an important factor for the condor's way of flying, since towards midday, when it is warmer, the flight time and the travel distances increase considerably. The mobility of the condors is favored in those hours of the day and seasons of the year, with favorable meteorological conditions for the flight, specifically when there are presence of thermals and wind. The months when condors have the shortest daily flight distance are the coldest and rainiest months. At the same time, the months in which the condors have the maximum flight distance are the warmest and driest months. There are studies that recorded condor territories up to 600 kilometers long north-south direction and 100 kilometers wide east-west direction. Daily flights up to 200 linear kilometers also have been registered. The reproductive rate of the species, unfortunately, is very low. This is due, in part, to the prelay period of couple interaction that can be as long as eight to nine months, including courtship, copulation, and nest site search. The lack of stable and reliable food sources directly influences the possibility of starting a reproductive season. The low reproductive rate of the condor is also affected by the laying size, which is of a single egg, the long incubation period of approximately 60 days, and the long stay of the juvenile in the nest. Condors can take six to eight years to reach sexual maturity. At the moment, the Andean condor is considered worldwide as near threatened. It is considered threatened in Peru, critical endangered in Ecuador, endangered in Colombia and Venezuela, and vulnerable in Chile. Very little is known about the population status of the Andean condor in Bolivia and Argentina. The causes of the great decrease in the number of condors are directly or indirectly generated by humans. Among the main threats to the species are the mistaken belief that it is a predator species, when in fact it is a scavenger, which has led to its hunting in large numbers. Also the intake of poison baits that are used to control predators such as foxes and cougars. The poisoning caused by the ingestion of lead ammunition left in carrion. The intake of carrion with high amounts of pesticides. 
and the decrease of their food, such as deers, tapirs, and other large decomposing native vertebrates. Why is it so important to protect and conserve the condor? As a scavenger animal, the condor plays a very important role in ecosystems, providing health benefits for the inhabitants of these areas. Eating the carrion prevents the spread of bacteria that could cause different diseases. This also contributes to the control of other scavenger species that could be dangerous for human population. It is a bird that has a remarkable cultural importance throughout the Andean area of South America. It is present in legends, myths, cultural productions such as ceramics, paintings, and even in our national coat of arms. On the other hand, its presence enhances economic development through birding tourism. Today, our national bird is still in danger. In the 80s, the species reaches its most critical state, which was an estimated population of just under 60 individuals in Colombia. Between 1989 and 2013, 69 condors, 33 females and 36 males were released, which helped to recover the species learn more about the condor, also educate and link indigenous and peasant communities that share its territory in the condor's protection. At this time, the population in Colombia is estimated between 130 and 150 individuals. You can see more details and links to articles about this condor reintroduction program in Colombia in the video description below. The education of the inhabitants of the regions where the condor lives is the key to avoid the loss of the condors due to non-natural causes such as hunting, capture and accidental poisoning. These shots of the Andean condor were taken during a piculate birding tour in Purase National Park at about 9,850 feet. Next to the condor there were many black vultures Horagips atratus, attracted by the rotten meat. Burase National Park is one of the best places in the whole Andes to see these majestic birds, since it can be seen from a few meters away when it lands on the rock where it's fed by the indigenous people. The condor rock in Purase is the best place to admire this icon of the Andes. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Neotropical Birding Pills. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming videos. You can help us continue creating more neotropical birding pills by giving us thumbs up, sharing our videos in your social media, and buying our merchandising in giftsforbirders.com. You can also donate in the PayPal link in the description of our videos. In case you were wondering which was the bird species in the picture next to me, it's a juvenile black-chested buzzard eagle, Heranoetus melanoleucus, another high Andean bird that lives in the condor territories. This picture was taken in Perija Mountains in Colombia. See you soon. Bye.